What's up, selectors? How you doing? Hope you're marvelous like me. Man, I am pretty excited, man, for this thing right here called Stadia uh, from Google. We'll see how this thing goes, man. This is supposed to be the first all streaming console um, from Google. I'll say that. There have been other consoles like the Ouya um, that are out there, but this is Google's first console um, or not console. It's basically a controller from my understanding um, that uh, you can stream games to like your Google Chrome, uh, the Google Hub thing that they have. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna check it out. We're gonna find out more information. Uh, this just came out yesterday. I didn't have a chance to stream yesterday, so this is fresh for me. This is gonna be my first reaction to it. But first, check us out down below, twitch.tv forward slash select screen and twitch.tv forward slash Elmo, 172331. Uh, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look for some new videos to drop tonight over on YouTube. Um, there are a couple of videos that we had on uh, on Twitch. So if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure to go and check out. Uh, I believe we got a Mortal Kombat video and some other videos over there. All right. Uh, if you'd like to support us, hey, check us out by Twitch cheering. Uh, heading over to player.me forward slash select screen hashtag tip and on Patreon. And uh, you guys know how we do this, man. It's very simple. It's very easy. Normally, what we do, I'm going to stay here. Normally, what we do is uh, we watch this video and then we react to it. This one, we're just going to kind of react. This will be like our E3 coverage that's going to happen the rest of the week. Um, I can't promise that E3 coverage will happen live, um, but we will be reacting a lot on Twitter as we see things. And then, of course, We'll get some videos up of certain trailers and things like that. I think that's how we're going to do E3 coverage this time. So that's the plan, Sam. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if you guys like it. Um, it should work out like that. All right. So let's get into uh, Stadia, I think is how you say it. Stadia. Stadia Connect is Hi, what they're calling Phil. it. Thanks so much for joining us today. Trader Stadia used to be a PlayStation guy. This series gives you a look at Stadia news, events, new titles, bonus features, and more. We'll be posting these Stadia Connect videos from time to time to bring you the latest from Google straight to all of you, the players. We've got a bunch of exciting news to share with you today, so let's get started. Three months ago, we gave you a first look at Stadia, a new generation game platform powered by the best of google today we're going to tell you about if anybody can pull this off it'd be apple or google we'll share pricing details including an exclusive launch offer and you'll learn how to become one of the first stadia players stadia has been years in the making across different google teams google's mission has always been to make information more accessible for everyone with stadia our goal is to make stadia gaming more accessible for everyone okay. too we designed Stadia to bring together game players and game watchers from around the world into one global community of gamers. And Stadia makes it easy to play your favorite games on any screen in your life. At launch later this year, you'll be able to play Stadia games on your TV, desktop, laptop, tablet, and on Pixel smartphones. So you'll be able to play your games basically anywhere. New Pixel 3A that we announced last month. Wherever you are, Stadia lets you play the latest games. No downloads, no patches, no installs. Just grab your controller and you're in. This level of access and availability represents a huge interesting in the gaming world. Instead of a console or a PC, you're using Google's data center as the platform. We handle the intense gameplay processing and graphics. So there's no console required to play your favorite games. That's what Stadia is all about. The games. Today we're unveiling the very first no console coming to the platform at launch. We're working with hundreds of leading publishers and developers around the world to deliver their biggest and best titles to Stadia. 
We've lined up an incredible selection of games spanning nearly every genre, including fighting, sports, role-playing games, first-person action, and racing titles. And we're just getting started. This worldwide exclusive unveil comes straight from our friends at Larian Studios. Okay, first question is, how do you use third-party controllers? That doesn't make much sense to me. How do you do multiplayer? Like, couch multiplayer. Can you? Oh, nice. What am I looking at here? What is this? Baldur's Gate. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, Larian is a company where we try to give everybody a lot of freedom uh, because we want them to come with their ID. No, thanks, man. Forget it. <laughs> My name is Sven Zinke. I am the founder and director of Lion Studios. So Lion Studios was founded in 97 in Ghent in Belgium. I've seen the entire evolution of the games industry. We keep on driving the state of the art forward so fast. You don't have that in music, you don't have it in movies. Uh, but in video games you have it and Stadia is like the next leap. I mean, it is quite revolutionary. Lion Studios was Founded, Show it to me, though. Created, what do we? Uh, big epic what does it look like? In which uh, the world reacts to what you're doing, in which you could play together with your friends. One thing Apple does very well is they show you a trailer, then they show you the phone or whatever it is, and it's done. It's like here it is. This is it. Uh, but then we started making Divinity Original Sin 2, and then at some point they just reached out to me, and they said, well, you're the guy that wanted to make Baldur's Gate 3. Do you still want to make Baldur's Gate 3? And say, yeah, of course I still want to make Baldur's Gate 3. And that got the conversation rolling, and before you knew it, uh, we were constructing story. It was awesome. It was a geek dream come true. Baldur's Gate 3 is the biggest game that we've ever done. Uh, we had to triple the size of the studio to be able to do it. Production values are uh, very, very, very high, but the game deserved it. I mean, it's uh, people have been waiting on it for a very long time, so it deserves to be top notch in every single aspect, and it's shaping up to. They're be telling that showing. But the <laughs> coolest thing about it all is that by bringing it to Stadia, pretty much everybody is going to be able to play it at the highest quality settings because uh, Stadia is uh, demographic in that sense. If you want, it doesn't differentiate between what platform you're playing it on because everything is server based. We can't wait for you to play Baldur's Gate three on Stadia. And whether you're playing an RPG like Baldur's Gate 3 or any of the other titles and genres we'll share today, we know that players demand the most responsive experiences from their games. And we have architected Stadia to give you the fastest possible response between what your fingers are doing and what your eyes are seeing. So, what does that mean for the internet connection you're on right now? Yeah. Let's quickly dig into the numbers. Yeah. Our highest quality gaming experience is remarkable with 4K HDR video at 60 frames per second and 5.1 surround sound. We're able Over the to internet. deliver this experience to users with a connection speed of around 35 megabits per second. And with Google handling the processing load, you can enjoy smooth gameplay even if you don't 35? have 35? So let's say you have a connection speed of just 10 megabits per second. You can still get at least 720p video at 60 frames per second with stereo sound. We're really proud of the experience we're able to deliver, and it's all thanks to more than. I'd love to. I want to see that stat again. Building and optimizing our network. I wasn't going to stop and, and start, guys, but I got to stop and look at that graphic one more time. Connection speed of just 10 Let's look at this again. Thirty-five up. I'm assuming. Is that right? Is that thirty-five up? We'll get you four. That's four K. 35 up. I'm assuming. 
because I know I pay for like something like two fifty down. You can still get at least 720p video at 60 frames per second with stereo sound. We're really proud of the experience we're able to deliver, and it's all thanks to more than 20 years of work at Google, building and optimizing our networks and data centers to support services with billions of users like YouTube, Gmail, Android, Google Play, Maps, and of course Google Search. The latest Maps, Search, and and YouTube. I mean, they can handle it, right? From the demands we've been meeting for years. We handle the back end. Hey, shout out to our latest uh, follower on Twitch, Juicebox123456227. We put this idea to the test with Project Stream. We invited users to stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey at up right. to 1080p at right. 60 frames per second. It was a phenomenal gaming experience on a wide range of PCs and laptops that were simply running a Chrome browser. With Project Stream, we demonstrated that we can transmit the live instance from the data center to your screen faster than your eye is transmitting those images to your brain. That's critical for fast-paced games on Stadia, like Mortal Kombat. It's truly a new okay. paradigm for gaming. And since we announced Stadia a few months ago, we've gotten a lot of interest about this new way to play. In our conversations and meetups with game developers, they're excited about the possibilities of an ever-evolving play experience. And we can't wait to get Stadia in the hands of gamers later this year. So let's share some more details about the platform and what you'll need to get started at launch. Okay. To get the best experience playing with our new Stadia controller. It's designed specifically for streaming games, and it includes a capture button for your game footage and a button to access the Google Assistant. Of course, you can also play Stadia games with any supported game controller or with a mouse and keyboard. The only other thing you need... But what about a fight stick? Want to play on the HDTV in your living room? Just plug in a Chromecast Ultra. If you'd rather play on your laptop, desktop, or tablet, open a Chrome browser window. Our vision is for Stadia to run on any screen that runs Chrome. Or you can use the Stadia app on your Pixel 3. We'll be expanding to more screens down the line too, including more smartphones. When you're ready to play, the Stadia controller connects directly to your game running in the Google data center. That direct connection is key to providing the highest possible performance and the best. You see what I'm saying? You we see what so I'm saying? So on the Stadia controller, which you can find at stadia.com. That's fine. Also a tweet away at Google Stadia to answer all your questions. We're very excited to introduce you to a number of new titles. Unless they're going to come out with their own fight stick, for instance. It won't work. I'm a wolf. Raised to be the alpha. Trying to follow. Alas, this can't be tamed that easily. the future with technology others developed but were too fearful to deploy by tooth and claw i took this island and by tooth and claw i will rule it Take on the lone wolf. Maybe. Tracking. Analyzing. Stalking. Patiently. Tirelessly. But there is no place for the weak and the wounded here. We are wolves. I've seen this one. This is Ghost Recon, isn't it?
Yeah. Breakpoint. That doesn't look bad at all. On Stadia, huh? Okay. This looks terrifying. Pass on that too. So Tom Clancy's The Division 2 happened seven months after a deadly pandemic that started in New York, spread not only across the nation, but also across the world. And you, as an agent of the Strategic Homeland Division, has been called to Washington, D.C. Take this I didn't care for this game either. Like, so one of the major challenges is to take an why? RPG and to create a fast-paced, action-packed shooting game. We learned a lot from the first game, and we improved on that. And what we have today, I think, is the best cover-based shooter RPG out there. One of the real benefits of choosing Washington, D.C. for the second game is that we have all of these amazing, iconic buildings. The White House, the Capitol, we have the Air and Space Museum, we have the Lincoln Memorial, and of course, there's even a control point at the base of the Washington Monument. Stadia means that you can play your game anywhere. The collaboration with Google has been really awesome, because they're very open, a very open company, at least with us as partners. We know games and they know infrastructure. So together we can bring a powerful, visually appealing experience to all Stadia users. Together we can make the best of it. The exciting part about partnering with Google is that they really have the bandwidth and just the physical infrastructure to pull something like this off. Bringing the Division 2 to Stadia has been a, a learning experience and an immensely thrilling journey. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do in the future. And I get it. Like, they're trying to show the games. Like, 
amazing title games, but show me how it works. Now, this is a new product. Stadia's pricing and availability is my okay. friend and colleague, John. We're launching Stadia with a diverse mix of games from lots of genres and world-class game publishers. There's truly something for everyone. With Stadia, you can put your money toward the things that really matter. The latest, greatest game experiences that you can play anywhere. To unlock these experiences, we're offering a premium subscription for our Stadia players. Introducing Stadia Pro. It delivers the best of Stadia for just $9.99 per month. Stadia Pro. So it's a monthly subscription that you gotta do? For being a Stadia Pro member at our highest streaming quality. 4K, HDR, 60 frames per second. Ah, oh, oh. see? To celebrate players who want to be the first playing on Stadia. We know there's a passionate world of players out there who want bigger... So what are you going to do? Send me the controller for free? After announcing Stadia, we've heard from so many gamers who share our excitement. For those fans... We've Ten bucks a month, again, if this thing works, is worth it. Features and content. We call but do I have to buy games? And you can pre-order it starting today. The Founders Edition includes everything you need to get started with Stadia. And you'll have the first access to Stadia when it launches later this year. We want to make sure your games look great on the biggest screen in your home. So the Founders Edition comes with a Chromecast Ultra for streaming it up to 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. Okay, directly to so you pay for a Chromecast. You also receive a limited edition Night Ooh. Blue Stadia controller. As well as Bronco Colors, I like that. And we know gaming is more fun. How than much, that. though? If this thing's over 200 bucks, I'm, I'm out. So you can gift Stadia Pro access to a friend or family member. You can also pick up an additional Stadia controller for $69. It comes in clearly white, just black, in Wasabi. And here's the best part about the Founders Edition. You'll be among the first players to secure your exclusive Stadia name. So you'll get the Stadia name you want and the bragging rights to go along. Sure. With. So you're getting a Chromecast Ultra, the limited edition night blue Stadia controller, three months of Stadia Pro for you and a friend, and you'll be among the first players to select the Stadia name. It's all in the Stadia Founders Edition, and it's coming to these 14 countries. Okay. When? We're working hard to expand Stadia to additional countries in 2020 and beyond. We do have one more surprise. Gamers who buy the Stadia Founders Edition will get the complete Destiny 2 experience as part of Stadia Pro. They're giving you Destiny 2? about being a super powerful hero set loose in a really beautiful world the first time i fired my super i was like screaming oh, i'm so badass right now i've been playing games for 30 years and i've never experienced that ah destiny, destiny. is about playing with your friends my best moments are with other players the first time i beat vault of class i know who was there with me and that just makes it feel so much more rich. I think but Bungie's lost a lot of mystique after uh, Destiny 1. We are now our own publisher. Did you know this? And with Stadia, we get to be the tip of the spear. It's something that's new. Our push now is to remove all the barriers that we have to playing. So you have to buy games, play, pay 10 bucks a month, and you've got to buy a Google Chrome or whatever it's called and the controller is the next chapter in the destiny story it's a pretty haunting tale there are these nightmares that are walking the moon and you'll have to find a way to conquer these nightmares and face your fears we have a lot to do with destiny too. we're not done yet we now are in control of our own destiny behind us we have an incredible community and with Stadia, I think we're going to open up an entirely new opportunity for players to come in and play with their friends from around the world. Destiny! Uh, that's not a sell for me. You need an exclusive game to me. Looking to the future always brings us back to the past. can still hear their voices. <coughs> their endless torment reshapes our moon. Nightmares now stalk the surface. Walking shadows 
seeking vengeance. Our old fears, they rise again. And in the dark below, something wicked has awakened. big thank you to our friends at Bungie for partnering with us to bring the full Destiny 2 experience to Stadia. The base game, all previous add-ons, the newest expansion, and the annual pass. They're all included in your Stadia Pro subscription. Okay, that's and not bad. Bonus, you'll be able to transfer your Destiny Guardian to Stadia from any other platforms. Oh. To recap, the Stadia Founders... That's nice, so if you've built... Limited edition night blue controller, Chromecast Ultra... Yeah. Three months of Stadia if you've Pro, played Destiny a lot, Destiny you can bring them over. That's cool. First dibs on your Stadia name and a buddy pass to give Stadia Pro to a friend for three months. Good luck deciding who you're going to give it to. When you add everything up, that's almost $300 of value. And you'll get it all in the Founders Edition for just $129. Okay. A buck twenty-nine? We're excited to offer the Founders Edition to gamers around the world. But it's only available for a limited time, in limited quantities. So don't wait too long to pre-order. How much is that Google? Can you look that up? You can still buy and play Stadia games without a subscription. Simply buy the games you want when you want them. Okay. Call the Stadia base, and any games you purchase, they're yours to play whenever you want. So whether you're ready to go all in with the Founders Edition bundle, or if you prefer Stadia base, you have options. All right, let's bring Phil back for a few final details. So you can play Stadia. Thanks for tuning in to this first look at some of our most Stadia exciting games without and how to access Stadia, Stadia Pro, pricing. which is 10 bucks a month. You can get more details and info at stadia.com slash FAQ. 129 bucks description here. for a or console. Tweet us at Google Stadia. We'll have much more to come soon. That's not steep. Additional announcements you get a, a Google... What is that thing called? A, Thanks for you watching. kept saying it. Is that it? Experience Stadia for yourself. That's and it. With that, we're excited to show you one last collection of games. Listen up already. I saw Power Rangers in there. Okay. Mortal Kombat, Tomb Raider, Dragon Ball, Power Rangers, Just Dance, how's that going to work? Oh, okay. FIFA, maybe? was in there. Thumper's a pretty cool game, but I like that in VR. Alright, so let's let's go back here and let's look at some Stadia hey, stuff one minute. more time. Thanks. You can still buy and play Stadia. So looking at this. Hold up. So here's what you get. Uh, you get the collection of all that stuff. That's fine. Look at this guy. He's so happy. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see right there. All right, so ranking this, 
you get the Stadia name, which I'm sure everybody's going to get a Stadia name at some point in time, right? So that's probably the lowest thing. You get Destiny. That, you know, mileage may vary on that. For me, I'm like, okay, Destiny. I may play it once. Stadia Pro, three months, so that's 30 bucks right there. Chromecast Ultra. Let's take a look and see how much. How much is a Chromecast Ultra? And the next question after that is do I need a Chromecast? I've got two smart TVs. Now, I know my TV upstairs, I don't think that has a... I'm, I'm for sure that the Samsung TVs don't have Chrome. But let's see. Um, oh! Best Buy's got them for 70 bucks. And what was this thing? What did I say? It was 120 130 See if we can't find that. I'll listen to it again here. Your Stadia name and a buddy pass to give Stadia Pro to a friend for three months. Good luck deciding who you're going to give it to. When you add everything up, that's almost three hundred dollars of value. Okay, he and says it's three hundred bucks. The Founders Edition for just one hundred and twenty-nine bucks. So, hmm, hmm. Here's the issue with this thing. They didn't show us how it works. And I know they've done it previously. They've kind of showed how it worked through some other demonstrations. But I'm I'm not sure. I want to see these games, especially a game like Mortal Kombat. So the controller controllers what 60 bucks which is right on par with controllers right now oops sorry about that guys the controller's 60 bucks you could almost buy this separately and pay the same amount of money but at least you get that three month of pro the catch is and this is what's going to make or break this thing of course is going to be internet speeds i want to look at that again Uh, let's see, that was somewhere, somewhere up there at the front. Was it after Baldur's Gate? Yep, right here. So there you go. So, this is what's got to matter to you is, I'm going to run a speed test as we talk. Because I want to know where I am. Um, where I am in all this. Because here's the catch. If you only have 10 Mbps, right? It's To me, it's not worth it to get the founder's thing or pay the 10 extra bucks because you can't do 4K. You see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't necessarily... The structure doesn't work to me let's see yep perfect example so my upload is going to put me somewhere in the 720p range which to me this mm, that's not great that's not great at all. I mean, why am I... What compels me to play this thing more than a Switch? You know what I'm saying? Because at a Switch... Let's take Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's across the board, right? Right now, I can play Mortal Kombat on my PS4 
in 4K HDR, 60 frames per second, 5.1 surround sound right now. Guaranteed, no frame rate drops from the internet, you know, other than, you know, your normal stuff. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's on a disc, okay? Or if I even if I download it. On the Switch, same thing. I think the Switch version is 1080p. I'm not sure if it's 60 frames per second. Um, but that means I can play it on the go. So if my internet at home, hardwired, is only going to give me 720p, why would I do that? I don't know, guys. I, I think this, it, it sounds like a good deal, but it's, un, this is the problem. It's dependent on your internet. What happens, too, if your internet goes out? Do the games download to your controller somehow? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I don't know. That's just some of my thoughts. Um, interesting. Interesting concept. I think it would be really cool. Yes, there's novelty to be able to play on your phone and on your tablets and all of this stuff. But again, if it's dependent on speed, I don't know. I think I'm at a, like a mid-range for internet and I'd st I'm still at 720p. No thanks. So that's my thoughts, guys. Some of my, you know, there's a lot of good in, in the pricing. They did that right. Um, the idea of it seems really cool, um, but internet is going to be a, uh, an issue with this platform for sure. Uh, if I had to give a grade to their presentation, I think that was um, that was a B. That was a B. It was a good presentation, clean. I liked it. Um, showed a lot of games. That was cool. It needed, again, we wanted to see it done. I wanted to see it played. Like if you showed me Mortal Kombat on this thing playing, that's what I want to see. Um, that would have kind of put it over the top, but um, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Um, are you interested in Stadia? Um, I had one uh, comment on our Facebook uh, just saying, hey, I'm going to go and do this from Byron. Byron was like, I'm not going anywhere near this thing um, again because of the Internet. So you guys let me know in the comments down below. My name's Select Screen. Remember to choose your destiny and I'm out.